Hi, my name is Zoe. Um, I'm uh, a close friend of Kevin Nish, and um, I just wanted to share with you uh, what little we know about uh, Kevin's situation right now. Um, we believe that Kevin is alive, and uh, we're, we hope that he is unharmed. Um, what we're hearing from the Israelis is that they are rigging the ships in, they are unloading all the passengers from the ships, and uh, they're keeping the media away, and they're keeping all the legal support and the embassies away as well. And uh, that's going to continue at least until tomorrow. So with luck tomorrow, we'll be able to get the international solidarity movement lawyers into the Israeli uh, prison where people are being held. And then we'll have confirmation um, that Kevin is alive and unharmed. And uh, the mission that he was on at this, uh, on this flotilla was to guard the journalists on the Challenger ship. Uh, the journalists were in an, in an upper deck in the Challenger, and uh, Kevin's job was to stand in the hatchway in case the, if the soldiers were boarding the ship, he was to stand in the hatchway and slow them down long enough that those journalists could upload the photos and upload the files and, and provide the evidence, provide the witnessing to what was happening. And um, so he was prepared to, to stand in that doorway and take a beating for as long as he could, you know, 30 seconds or a minute. And he said he was, he was being trained to take blows to the head and to the body and stay on his feet and not lose his temper. And that's all he was supposed to do was to stand in the doorway and hold the line just as long as he could and uh, give the journalists a chance to bear witness to what happened. And I don't know if he was successful in that. I don't know if the Israeli army decided that that was a provocation and attacked him. We just don't know what's happened. But I can tell you that there's been such a shocking uh, injustice, such horrifying atrocities taking place in Gaza and in Palestine. And for some of us, when we see this kind of injustice and brutality, we can't turn away. We reach a point where you you can't turn away. You can't turn the television off and pretend that everything is all right. At some point, at some point, we have to. Some of us can't just just go about our lives knowing that this is going on. We have to take action. We have to bear witness. We have to do whatever we can as Westerners, as international observers, to 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 fight for justice. You know, in a peaceful way. Um, so at this point. It was more important to him to have justice for Palestine than, you know, to be safe and comfortable in his home. So that's why he went. That's why he's there. And as far as I'm concerned, he is a hero. Yeah. Kevin Nish is a hero of Canada.